One thing to start by the young lady with the 60 meter hurdles. Looks like what is the about White is out front. She's been strongly thanked by Jeffrey. Jeffrey's on White, Jeffrey's on White. Jeffrey's looking for the draw. And that one is definitely calling for the second finish. On a strong run by Evelyn White of Washington, Archibald High, and Terence Jeffers of the Charles E. Mill Secondary. On the 80 meters hurdles, and it looks as if Brown is establishing some dominance, but he's strong, talented by the athlete from the Washington, Archibald High School. Sam's on the Archibald High, and the lead to Brown, like a cross lifting, a magnificent run by Brown. And Start this time around, Bridgewater, Lyman, Harvard, Collins, Price, Mountain Blue, but it looks to be a Bridgewater running away with this one. He's moving quite smoothly on the inside lane, pulls away from the athlete, as he crosses the line of Conquer between it is uh, Johnny Bridgewater of the Washington Archibald High School, running away with that one, and uh, the athlete from uh, Virgil, it looks like Conquer Collins would have been. Mark Stark by the athletes participating in the 110 meters. It looks like Isaac and Nathaniel, but on the outside lane, it's Charlie trying to do the way that one. No, it's Hoggins, Hoggins, who's putting out for the rest of the cup. He does it quite comfortably. Nathaniel Hoggins looking to come away with a very, very strong run. The 110 meters hurdles. Let's get the hands for the gentlemen. Well, it's the first set of 4x100 meter series, and it's the under 14 girls. And so runners are asked to go to their mark. Axe is set. Well, we got a clean start. We've got on the outside, we've got uh, Kayon, we've got Chazzy Mills, we've got. Uh, uh, Gingerland, we've got uh, Charles Town secondary. First band and off is coming up, and we're going across the straight away. And we see that Charles E. Mills, they're making their separation now. You can see them cleaning up on the outside, but on the inside, we see Washington Archibald High School and Vultures. The band passing now is uh, CM, uh, Charles E. Mills, too. Well, we got to watch the zone on that one. And so we're looking at Charles E. Mills. Final Batten and Dove is coming up and we're still looking on the inside, but Chazzy Mills seems to be out uh, in front of everybody. But wait a minute, wait a minute. This team in blue, is it? Is it Sandler's? Is it Sandler's? I'm not too sure, but I'm the uh, uh, first time I'm seeing this blue. Oh, it is BHS. How could I miss this? How could I miss that it was BHS? My goodness. Coming from behind, my school. I can't believe it. I was looking for the yellow, no yellow, but BHS winning the first four by one, the under 14 girls. Under 14 boys, four by one relay. And we just see Bassey High taking the under 14 girls. They're way out in lane eight. So we're gonna wait and see what's gonna become of this race. That's a set. All right, we got a clean start. So we're looking at Bassey Highway on the outside. Charles Hill Secondary, Washington Archibald High School, Gingerland, Charles E. Mills, Bill Charles, and Kayon. First band and off is coming. You see Charles Town making up the stagger. Batten is passed now. Quarter straight away they go. It's a Bassey High and Charles Town Secondary. On the inside, we got Washington. And then we can see that Charles E. Mills, they're making some move on the inside. Second bat in the handoff is coming up. It looks like Charles Town had a little stumble. Oh, Charleston definitely had a stumble. They're out of the, uh, out of the area. So we're looking now at Charles E. Mills and Washington Archibald High School on the inside. It's Washington Archibald High School taking over. Final band end off. And it's Charles E. Mills and Washing. Charles E. Mills and Washing. Charles E. Mills. Well, it is Washing. It's really Washing. From the time that guy get the, the, the baton, it is over. He could have he got that way behind. He would have done that same with still. Washington Archibald High School claiming the four by one under 14 boys. Under 16 girls, four by one relay. Axe is set. Well, we got a clean start on the inside. We've got Charles Stone, we've got Washington, Charles, E. Mills, Master High, and uh, Kayon on the outside. 
The first bat handoff is coming up, and it's looking like uh, Charles E. Mills crossed the straight away they go. Charles E. Mills doing very well, but then look at Gingerland. Ah, uh, so Charles on the inside trying to make a move. Charles E. Mills still holding steady, and it looking like uh, oh boy, look at the inside. It is uh, Charles on secondary. Charles on secondary on the inside, looking very well. On the outside, we see Charles E. Mills. Watch it, trying to make a move. Final band end off. Charles on got it. Charles on got it. But then look at the problems coming quite the straight away. I see Washi. I see Charles E. Mills. I see Charles Stone. I see Washi. I see Charles E. Mills. Charles E. Mills. Charles E. Mills. And there was Washi coming up to try to make a move. But Charles E. Mills held out nicely to take the under 16 four by one gold. Well, would you believe it? Washington Archibald High School disqualified in that four by one. So all that nice running and so on gone to waste. So Washington Archibald High School did not get gold in the under 14 four by one. All right, well, here we go. It is uh, under 16 boys. Four by one relay. Axel to set. And we got a clean start. So just four schools in this one. Gingerland Secondary, Bastille High, Charlestown, and uh, Charles E. Mills. First band and off, and it's Gingerland. Charlestown Secondary and Bastille High. Cross the straightaway. We can see Gingerland already, but Charles E. Mills making a move on the inside. We can see Brown trying to pick up the stagger, and uh, the band and off is coming up now. We see a yellow flag immediately. We see a yellow flag immediately. So we see them coming around still. It's Gingerland, it's Charles E. Mills, and it's Charlestown Secondary. Final band and off, and it's Ch Charles E. Mills on the inside, and Gingerland on the outside. Charles E. Mills on the inside, Gingerland on the outside, and uh, they're coming down. Look at Charles Town making a move for a second, but Gingerland, Gingerland secondary taking it and strolling in now is Basia High. And so we're going to have to wait and see now about the yellow flags that we saw earlier, but we know that Gingerland right now unofficially winning gold. All right, well, it's the under 18 four by one relays. Acts to set, and we got a clean start. We're seeing Washington Archibald High School, we're seeing uh, Bert Charles, we're seeing um, Charles E. Mills, we're seeing Bassier High, and uh, so first band and off is coming up. Charlestown Secondary, Charles E. Mills coming quite straight away. We are seeing Bassier High and Washi and Ginger, and uh, sorry, Bert Charles in the back. Look and the Look at um, Washington Archibald High School, definitely picking up the stagger. Second hand up, and Washi's gone. Look on the inside. Look on the inside. Look on the inside for Washington Archibald High School. Charles E. Mills on the outside. Charles E. Mills on the outside. Washi, oh no. Look like she's cramping up. And the final band hand off. Oh no. Look at that. Charles E. Mills gonna bounce in now. She's trying to make. Trying to make a comeback, but it's just too late. Just too late. Washington Archibald High School getting some bad luck on that final bat and handoff. The young lady cramped up at the wrong time, and so causing uh, Washington Archibald High School a gold medal. You can see her in a lot of pain right now, and uh, excruciating pain, but uh, Charles E. Mills secondary taking the under 18 four by one. Charlestown Secondary just been disqualified. It is official. Charlestown Secondary disqualified in the under 16, four by one. And in the under 16, four by one, the Kayon team has been disqualified in the under 16 girls. Under 18 boys, four by one finals. All eight lanes filled. Remember, bat and passing, very important in the four by one. We already have some disqualifications. Axe is set. Well, we got a clean start. I'm seeing K on Charleston Secondary, Basel High, Washington Archibald High School. And so we see what's going to happen now. First bat and off is coming up, and it's looking like a K on. K on, but quarter straight, we've seen Bert Charles, we've seen Bastille High, we've seen Charles E. Mills, and we've seen on the inside, it's K on. But uh, wait, 
Ben and Davis come up again. Watch it to the go look at nice. Which is on the outside. Look on the inside though. Keep an eye on the inside still. Final Ben and Davis coming. Look at Kayon making their move now. Kayon making their move. Final Ben and Davis coming up. And it's problems. Problems. It's uh watch it out high school, hold it. Watch it out high school. Wait, Kayon coming. Watch it all in. Kayon coming. Watch it all in. Watch it. Watch yours out. Wash yours out and takes goal in the under 18. Not enough room for Kayon to catch him, but he did well. He did well to hold out. Washington Archibald High School when I'm the under 18, four by one relay. Under 16 boys, Charles E. Mills and Charleston Secondary both disqualified from the 4x1 relay. Charles E. Mills and Charleston Secondary disqualified in the under 16 4x1. All right, well, it's the final 4x1, which features the under 20 males. Seems as though there was not enough for the females, so we go straight to the males four teams registered. Back to set. Well, we got a clean start. So we've got virtual Charles on secondary and uh, we've got uh, college on the inside, Bassett High School. Uh, first band and off, and it looks like uh, Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College did he stay in his lane? Yeah, it looks, sure looks that way. They're coming quarter straight away now and it's uh, uh, CFBC going real nice and uh, goes now did he say any lane looks that way looks that way still college dominating this one seems to be um college dominating this and um they're coming quarter the final straight away now and it's definitely college going all the way kimmy taking it pretty easily and yes cfbc <laughs> as if they were in a different race they're in and uh, finally the rest coming in now just out getting second but my goodness college leap and bounds about the rest and so therefore college cbc taking the four by one gold